Hi Stampers, today's card is an easel card, uh, very simple and quick card to make. Um, this is the way it looks like when it's standing up. Isn't this cute? Anyway, the first thing we're going to do is a piece of cardstock which is cut at, which is one and one fourth this way and at eleven uh, this way. And what I've done is scored it at five and a five and a half, and at eight and one fourth. It'd be five and a half here, and this then this is scored at eight and a fourth. And we'll need another uh, for the base of the card. It will need a four and a fourth by five and a half. And so um, the first thing I'm going to do is is put the front of the card together. I'll have the list of the supplies and the um, sizes of all the cardstock on my website. Just do it this way. I always like the combination of the striped paper and the flower. I really like that contrast. Next thing I'm going to add is the ribbon. Next thing I'm going to add is this uh, crochet flower that my girlfriend, my best girlfriend, my best friend forever, uh, Becky Beltran from California. Anyway, she made me several of these and um, I sure like adding them to my cards. Kind of hard to see the glue dots. There we go. I'm adding a couple of glue dots just so that it stays on the card. And I will start the stem really like using um, pearls. It, it adds that elegant touch. There we go. Next thing I'm going to add is the leaf and I made this using the Little Leaves uh, Sislets and I put it through the uh, Big Shot and I'm going to add a couple of um, glue dots to this just to keep it down. I think I'll add it right here under this pearl. There we go. Oops. Maybe I'll add it under this pearl. There, that's better. Next thing I'm going to do is add the pearl in the middle.
there we go. Stay down there. And um, this is, oh darn it, excuse me. This was run through the Big Shot using the um, uh, lots of uh, tags label one. It's a Sizzlix. Makes a really cute label. What I'm doing is going to stamp thank you. Thank my girlfriend Becky for making all these little flowers for me. And what I'm doing is just going to go put polka dots just freehand And then I'm going to add a couple of stamping dimensionals so that it pops out. I really like using these. It gives a lot of dimension to a card. Next thing I'm going to do is... Oh, one last thing I forgot to do. I forgot to show you how I do the inside. Let's go ahead and decorate the inside of the card. Oops, I forgot I was going to add this first. There we go. And I'll finish it off with one of Becky's flowers. There we go. Last thing I'm going to do is add Put the uh, front of the card. So I'll put some tape on here. All you have to do is just line it up. There you go. And here's the card. Oops. Now wasn't that a cute and easy card to make? And when you put it in the envelope, this is what um, th they're going to get. This is what you're gonna. This is the way it's gonna lay when you put it in the envelope. And that's the way it stands. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you.